Do you know where your teenagers are? Well, a new app can let you track them 24-7. So if you want to know where they are, how you can get to them, if they're driving, how fast they're driving, even how hard they're braking, and indeed, if they've looked at their phone, this app does it all. But just because we can find out all of these details, should we be wanting to, Jane? No. Would you track your girls? No, I just think... We, all, we didn't have all this when we were kids. We all survived. I think, you know, what you have to do as a parent is you equip your kids and you just say to them, look, these things can happen in life, this, 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 this is what you do, this is blah, blah, blah. And then you've just got to let them live, live their lives. Yeah. Mm. And make and mistakes. Really, that's not about them, is it? That's about your anxiety and just constantly... I have one rule with my kids, if they're under my roof, is that... When they're out and they get in at like, I don't know, one or two in the morning if they've been out somewhere late, is that they just send me a text saying home, that's it. And yeah. then, so then if I get up at four in the morning to go for a wee, I'm of that age, mm. uh, I can just go, oh yeah, they're in. I've got oh. the same rule, only mine is don't wake me up when you get in. Yeah. To even tell me you're in. Yeah. Don't wake me up. <laughs> 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 so you wouldn't worry about them at all, or when they, you yeah, know, when they just course. get their driving you know, test, when they, they first their passed and... their driving test and they first went off out in the car. Of course, you have that. But you talk to them, <sighs> don't you? But you yeah. talk to them, and also I try not to be that parent, and but I know I am because when they come in, I can feel myself go, <sighs> okay. But I mean, I do remember my mom always saying, "Phone me when you get there." Yeah. You know, if I was driving somewhere, it was yeah. phone me when you get there. And sometimes, yeah. as a kid, you forget, and your mom goes mad. And you're like, oh, shut up. Yeah. Um, but now, as a mom, I kind of get, uh, you know, just send me a text that you're there. That's all. Yeah. That, but this, I don't know. My don't mother know how... was doing that when I was travelling on the train between North Wales and London. She'd go, text me when you get there. As if... And I was 52 years old at the time. Well, you're still, you know, still your mom. But that's right. Oh. A text is no big deal, is it, to just put someone's yeah, mind at rest? Even but then they forget. The thought that the whole journey they're going, oh, she's now stopped at the motorway service I station. Think it's, yeah, it, yeah. It, 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 it's totally... If your child's over 16, you're invading their privacy. You've got to give them the right to live their own life, you know, within sensible boundaries, so, you know, they're not doing anything... To... I would agree with that, but 18, not 16. Oh, I was going to well, say 18. You... And also, what about... Because when they get to 15 and 16 they start doing that thing we've all done it i'm staying at a friend's house yeah, yeah. and you're not yeah. going clubbing with fake id <laughs> you don't know what you're doing yeah. i look to look at my kids like of course you are it might be handy for that yeah, to yeah. Go, your friend's house looks exactly well, like when, a club when my kids used to say that i go oh great i said could you just give me the parents email address so i can just um, what, email them to thank six... them for having you to stay tonight. oh you are so and they say like, that. oh my gosh there's no I'm, feeling all, all i remember about right, being June. a teenager was that from the age of 14 you had to get really good at lying and you had to create a false uh, narrative, a false story of where you've been and what you've done that they couldn't check up on. Mm. And that made me the creative person I am oh. <laughs> today. So if this app had existed, you wouldn't be where you are today. Oh, the sure. lies did not happen. Oh, sure, Mum, with you. Well, do you know, weirdly, my, my sister and I say this to Mum all the time. I think my Mum worries more now about us than she ever did. Now that we're fully grown up with our own control. lives. And exactly she's that. And I'm over here and obviously yeah. she's back there. But this is ages ago where we all went on that, that sort of find my friends yeah. app. Mm. And weirdly, you were just saying there about sending a text when your, your children come home. But sometimes, say, if we don't or I'm, I'm busy with my little ones and I don't get around to doing it, my mum has a look on it and she goes, well, she's home, so, she's, so she doesn't need the text. So weirdly, it has allowed her to have a little bit of freedom because she can tell where we are. Yeah. But equally so, if piece. she knows where I'm, I'm sure she's sitting on it going, well, she's not home yet. Anyway, why, that why find my home friend's app is rubbish because I've got that and I never found any. <laughs> Years. <laughs> you just sit in on it. I just sit where oh are my, my friends? And I go, oh, I ain't got any. It's rubbish. Oh, oh you're so, so sad. I'll include you. Fake I'll include you.